Mercedes-Benz GLS Class Expert Review The three-row GLS Class is Mercedes' largest SUV, bigger dimensionally than the much pricier G-Class and providing more seating capacity. The model began life as the GL Class in 2006 and became the GLS Midway through its second generation for the 2016 model year. Now in its third generation, the 2022 GLS Class was offered primarily in GLS 450 form as global supply chain issues compelled Mercedes to temporarily pause sales of its V8-powered machinery like the GLS 580, ANG GLS 63, and Maybach GLS 600. Although Mercedes V8s were hard to come by in 2022, the turbo inline 6 mild hybrid powertrain in the GLS 450 is nothing to sneeze at. In our evaluation of the GLS 450 during the 2020 SUV of the Year competition, the engine and 9-speed automatic transmission worked seamlessly to deliver a 5.8 second 0 to 60 mile per hour time, which is only slightly off the pace of its chief rival, the BMW X7 X Drive 40i. Moreover, when equipped with the available e-active body control suspension, the big SUV handles beautifully, staying flat through turns. EABC also brings free driving mode, aka, bouncing mode, to help extract the ute out of deep mud and snow when it gets stuck. EABC wasn't perfect. It couldn't completely soak up high-frequency impacts. Steering feel for the 2022 GLS 450 is also on the soft side. But the cabin is serene, stylish, and mostly spacious except for the kid-sized third row. The power-sliding second row could stand to move a little more briskly, and the Buck's infotainment system let us down, but the leather upholstery feels soft, and the seat bolstering is appreciated. The 2022 GLS 450 is capable, practical, and a pleasant place to be, which is exactly what we expect from a two-time SUV of the year winner. Performance and Fuel Economy Chevron The entry-level GLS 450 is powered by a 362-horsepower 3.0-liter turbocharged inline 6-mile hybrid powertrain which includes an integrated starter generator that can provide up to an additional 21 horsepower for short periods of time. The engine is linked to a 9-speed automatic transmission, and every GLS 450 is AWD and can tow up to 7,700 pounds. In our testing, the GLS 450 hustled from 0 to 60 miles per hour in an impressive 5.8 seconds. It's EPA rated at 18 24ths of a mile per gallon city-slash-highway. The GLS 580 is hard to come by for 2022, but if you can find one you'll enjoy its 483 horsepower 4.0 liter twin turbo V8, likewise enhanced by mild hybridization and connected to a 9-speed automatic. Despite the healthy power increase it's not much quicker than the GLS 450, hitting 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds. But its fuel economy is reasonably close, too, coming in at 16 21 of a mile per gallon. These GLS class models are something special. For a GLS class that stands apart, you can choose between the AMG powered GLS 63 and ultra luxurious Maybach GLS 600. Both are powered by a 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 in different states of tune. In the GLS 63, it makes 603 horsepower and 627 pounds to foot of torque, and throws that all down for a rapid 3.7 second 0 to 60 miles per hour launch.